So, you want to know how to organize your YouTube subscriptions. Well, first off, a little bit of history. Back in the day, a few years ago, YouTube had this functionality built directly into the website. You know, you could organize your subscriptions by folders and you could name them whatever you wanted. You know, so you could put all of your music channels together, all your tech channels together, whatever way you wanted to do, you had the choice of doing it. Then in 2015, they took this feature away with a view to, you know, updating it, making it better, more functional. Now, if you fast forward on to 2018, and they still haven't brought this feature back. Now, there's a number of users that have been asking, when is this coming back? And YouTube have responded that they're, they are looking into updating this and making it better, but it's still not there. The only way that you can organize your subscriptions currently is, you know, by most recent activity, A to Z, and that's basically it, which, you know, when you're like me and you've got 800 subscriptions that you subscribe to, isn't really a great way of organizing things. Now, there is a way you can add this functionality back into YouTube. The only catch is you have to be using Google Chrome and you have to install a small web app. So let's jump into the studio, take a look at how to install it and see the functionality of it to see if this solves your problems of organizing your subscriptions. So we are back in the studio. And since I made the intro for this video, which was actually yesterday, YouTube seemed to have made some changes to their subscription um, pages. So basically, if I click on subscriptions up here, we no longer get any option for sorting these at all, other than changing the display method to either list or grid. So this would be the grid view, which is basically just your standard thumbnail view. And even if I click subscriptions here, where the option used to come up, there used to be an option up here where you could organize it via, you know, latest activity or, you know, A to Z or whatever you wanted. But now that's completely gone as well. Um, now, I've had to actually switch over to one of my other channels that I use. Um, because on my main channel where I have like over 800 subscriptions, for some reason it, it seems to crash every time I go to my subscriptions uh, link, either via this one or even, th even this one, it just completely crashes and tells me a bunch of monkeys are being dispatched to uh, sort the problem out. Uh, so I don't know if this is an indication that YouTube are working on the subscription pages to implement, you know, better organizational features. But we'll go on and we will see how the YouTube subscription collection manager works as an extra add-on for Chrome. So we'll hop on over to the Google Chrome web store and there will be a link down in the description. This is the YouTube subscription collection manager. Now, what it enables you to do is to create folders and sort your subscriptions into whatever way you want. So you can create, modify, delete collection lists. You can group channels into collections. One channel, you know, equals few collections. Add custom icon for collections so it's easier to find, you know, visually. Uh, show the latest video from a particular collection and auto sync your collections. So we're going to add this to Chrome and the last time this was updated is January 10th which at the time of this video was four days ago so they seem to be quite active on uh, keeping this up to date uh, yep they seem to update at least once a month uh, going by these uh, sort of update records here there's you know the third fourth fifth sixth eleventh all right sixth sorry <laughs> seventh so yeah they seem to seem to be quite active with their you know, keeping it up to date and uh, keeping it running. So there's about 8,378 users uh, currently. So I'm just going to click on add. And whenever it does um, go to add, it's going to ask, you know, it'd like to read and change your data on all YouTube.com sites. Now, this, this is what enables it to get your subscriptions, to put them into collections, and that sort of thing, so that's absolutely fine. So I'm gonna do add extension, let that load in. So here we are, YouTube subscription collection manager has been added to Chrome. Use this extension by clicking on the icon. Uh, manage your extensions by clicking extensions in the tool menu. So I'm gonna to go 
back over to YouTube. Then I'm going to click on YouTube Collection Manager. So onto the settings. Disable pop-up window after hovering cursor over a subscribed channel. Uh, hide channels with collection from the main subscription list. Hide collection block with videos on main page YouTube. Hide choose collection filters. Right, I'm not 100% on what all of those are because I've literally just installed this. So let's see how this works. Let's do a refresh on Chrome. So now we have an extra option, uh, subscription groups plus add new collections. Let's add a new collection and we'll call this one gaming. So then once you set up uh, subscription groups plus and you create a couple of groups when you go to the, any of the pages there's a little flag icon that appears just over here now when you click the flag your folders that you've made come down in the drop down so that's quite handy being able to do that straight from each of the pages so now when you hover over any of these uh, subscriptions that you have along here you can add them via this pop-up as well, which is quite handy. And it also shows you the, the last three latest uh, videos. So I'm going to add that one to gaming because it seems to be a gaming channel. Um, the reason that this is going to be very helpful for me is because, especially on my main channel, um, I've got over 800 subscriptions. And sometimes it is really hard to try and remember what each of these channels are. So to create a new group, you literally just click on the subscription uh, groups plus and just give it a name. Uh, so top lists, we've got uh, top trends. So we'll add that to the top list. Top five central, add that to the top list. So let's now click on top lists. And yet yeah, that brings it down as a nice drop down that you can have that works very very well i like i'm i'm liking this i mean this is actually my first impression of this um app because it as as you've just seen i've literally just in, installed it so there we go a great way to add uh fun the functionality of being able to sort out your subscriptions all over again so if you'd like me to make any more videos about this uh, subscription add-on for Google Chrome, please leave a comment down below. If you've got any questions about how to use it, because I, I know this was quite a brief sort of overview of installing it, but I just wanted to get the information out there that this functionality can be added back into YouTube, even though they took it away back in 2015. Um, I will keep you updated on the subscription side of things if I get any news from Google or anything, if they're going to be bringing the functionality back into the actual site itself. Um, so yeah, if you have any comments or questions, please leave them down below. And you've been watching myself, James Lawson Smith. <laughs>